Hey guys, this is PJ Bootstraps, and welcome back to how to make a 2D top-down RPG. Now, last time I said we're going to learn tile maps, and that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to go to Game Object, go to 2D Object, select Tile Map. And now, what we're going to do is going to go to Window, and select Tile Palette, but as you can see, I already have it open right here. It's a window. It'll it probably open something like this, and you can just drag it anywhere you want. So, I'm just going to drag it right here. We're going to create a new palette. We'll call it ground and press create. And right here we're going to select their folder. So I'm just going to create a new folder and call it palettes. Select folder. It says drag tile sprite or sprite texture assets here. So what we're going to do is go to tiny RPG, go to artwork, and we're going to select one of these sprites right here. Oh, not there, right here. <laughs> and I'm going to select tile set 3, tile set 1, and yeah, it seems pretty good. So I'm going to drag this right here. And as you can see, I dragged two, so it has two highlights on where I'm dragging it. So I'm just going to drag it right here. Press select. Or I'm going to make a folder. So let's go to assets, create a new folder. There we go. We'll call it tiles. Yeah, tiles. Select folder. Now that we've created these, let's select this. We'll select one. We could select one of these. And now, when we drag our mouse into the screen, we can drag what we chose all across the screen. So I'm going to explain to you these tools up here. Okay, so this tool right here allows you to draw big squares if you want to get draw something quickly just out of one of the tiles. And then maybe you could go to paintbrush, add a few of these right here. Let's say I messed up and I click that. Oh no, I don't want that. You can do two things. You can click this eraser, which allows you to erase one at a time like this. Or you can click this section right here, hold down shift, and when you drag, wherever you drag and then let go, it'll delete what you want to delete. And let's say you want to move, so let's delete this right here. Click that eraser tool, delete this. Let's say we want to drag part of this somewhere else, but we don't want to drag the whole thing. What we're going to do is we're going to press S or select this mouse icon and pretty much let's select what we want to drag. So let's say I want to drag this. And then we're going to select the move icon and now we can move it around how we want. So let's say I just want to move it over here or something. Well, not, I don't want that, so I'm going to press Control Z. Let's say I've erased stuff in here, like, and I don't want it to be erased, and I don't feel like singularly putting in all of these tiles. What you can do is collect, you can fill with whatever tile you want. So let's say I want to fill it with this tile, select it. And now, as you can see, when I click here, it fills it for me. Now what we want to do is create walls or pathways so our character can only go to certain pathways. So what we're going to do is, so let's rename this tile map to ground. I'm going to make a new tile map. So I click grids, right click, go to 2D object, select tile map, rename. I'll call it debris. Okay. So now that we have that named, let's go to here. Let's go over here. Let's change our active tile map to debris so it's separate it's separate from the other tile map. So if we like put in some transparent object right here, it won't replace it. Because if we use this, if we go to this active tile map, and let's say I'll put in a rock. Uh, yeah, I'll put in a rock here. So let's go to the artwork, sprites, and I'll drag in this rock right here. Add that right here. So now that we got this rock selected, if I add this rock on, as you noticed, all the background gets removed. We don't want that. So what you want to do is just go to your active tile map, go to the new one, debris, and now when you put it on, it puts on as a separate layer, but you can't see it. That's because our order and layer is, it isn't in the right order. So let's go to inspector, make sure you have debris selected, change order and layer to one, so now we can see it when we place it down. So I'm just going to place these rocks all around here. as like a little wall for our character. 
we can't see our player, so we can change his order and layer. Let's change it to two for now. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go back to debris. Now, if we just if we try pressing play and then move around, our character goes through the rocks, and we don't want that. We want to add a collider. And if we try adding a box collider, a normal box collider to it, it adds a box collider around the whole tile map, and it's all glitched up. See, instead of adding a normal box collider, what we want to do is go to remove this component. Unity has added a component specifically for tile maps. So if you start type in tile, right here there's a tile map collider 2D. So now we can press play. And now if we go <laughs> Sorry about that guys, I needed to add a rigid body 2D to our player. So I added one and let's get rid of the gravity scale, so just make it zero. So now if we press play he will not go against the rocks. Now you can see it's a little glitched up, but we're not using solid walls. So so that's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Uh, I, might, I might do animation, might do battle enemy AI, stuff like that. So just let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.